and welcome to the Blank Park Zoo Discovery Center. As you walk along the trail, you will come to the free flight area where many birds and animals are housed. There are signs explaining what birds to look for at the beginning and end of the trail, along with signs in front of all the exhibits. One thing to keep in mind as you walk through is to be patient and look for all of the birds because they are in the trees, on the ground, and flying above you. Here are the birds that you should look for. Can you find them all? The pheasant pigeon is a large pigeon that is found in the rainforests of New Guinea and nearby islands. It has a blue-green ring around its neck, brown wings and back, and a black chest and underside. When you look for the pheasant pigeon, make sure to look on the forest floor, not in the trees. Another bird you can find is the ringed teal. The ringed teal is a smaller duck of South American forests and swamps. They have green plumage with a white patch on their wings. Males have a salmon-colored breast and a dark band running from the top of their head to the base of their neck. Females have bars on their pale chest and belly. Many times they will fly together and may even allow you to get close. Next is the silver-eared mesia. The silver-eared mesia is one of the smaller birds in the Discovery Center. This colorful bird got its name from the silver patches on the side of its head. The silver-eared mesia will travel in groups, but look closely because they can be quick and hard to spot. Another bird you will find is the scarlet-chested parrot. The scarlet-chested parrot is originally from Central South Australia and inland Southern Western Australia. The male is very colorful with a bright blue head, scarlet chest, and yellow belly. The female has a paler blue color in its face and has a green chest. The Rothschild's peacock pheasant is a medium-sized, blackish brown pheasant with long tail feathers. This shy and elusive bird will eat berries, beetles, and ants, and can mainly be found on the forest floor of our Discovery Center. After you pass the turtle pond, the next area that you'll come across are the Gouldian finches. Now these colorful little birds are separated from the other birds in the Discovery Center so you can get a better and closer look at them. There are over 50 Gouldian finches in this area. They are originally from Australia and are very colorful. Can you find the sun bittern? The sun bittern is normally found near wooded streams or creeks. It hunts fish and other small vertebrates, much in the same way herons do. They will make a long, high-pitched, whistle-like sound, so keep your eyes and ears open. Green-winged doves are named for their bright green color on their backs and wings. They can spend a lot of time on the ground looking for fallen fruit, but they are also known for flying long distances and roosting in trees. The Mauritius pink pigeon is the rarest bird in our Discovery Center. In fact, they are endangered. We have a male and a female, both of which have pale pink plumage on their head, shoulders, and underside. They have pink feet and a pink beak with dark brown wings. The Victoria Crowned Pigeon is the largest bird in our Discovery Center, so it should be fairly easy to spot. The Victoria Crowned Pigeon is one of three similar species of crowned pigeons and can be found in the lowland and swamp forests of northern New Guinea and surrounding islands. This pigeon has powdery blue feathers on their bodies, with red eyes and a maroon breast. They display a lighter shade of blue on the wings and tips of their tail feathers. The speckled mouse bird can be one of the more difficult birds to find as they blend in well with the trees and can be found more towards the very top. It got its name from its dull mousy brown color on the back of its head. The speckled mouse bird is widespread in the savanna and open woodlands of Africa. It is also a common backyard bird often seen in urban areas that contain gardens and orchards. The mountain bamboo partridge is a ground dwelling bird with fawn colored feathers, dark spots along their side, and a lighter underbelly. They have a short black beak tail and rounded wings. They are found in bamboo forests and tall grasslands of western China to northern Vietnam. The mountain bamboo partridge enjoys hiding out on the ground, so you'll have to look long and hard to find them. Well, that's a look at the free flight birds of the Discovery Center. Remember, be patient and look very closely so you can find them all. The Discovery Center also has many other animal exhibits, including golden-headed tamarins, day geckos, fruit bats, and scarlet macaws. Don't forget to check out the Water Lab with several amphibians and fish. Finish your Discovery Center adventure by viewing our moon jellyfish and other saltwater and freshwater fish. Good luck on your search and enjoy the rest of your stay here at the Blank Park Zoo, Iowa's wildest adventure.